Hey guys, it's Anthony from BrooklynTrader.com uh, with a levels video in CYRN. Uh, not only is this a levels video, but I also wanted to uh, put this up as also a little Fibonacci lesson um, because uh, you know there's some big levels here uh, that got hit and were supported um, via Fibonacci level. So uh, first, let's just point out a few levels here to watch. So basically, this thing spiked up here to 270, uh, almost 270. Uh, and then just faded the rest of the day. Okay, stock's still up 23% of 41 cents, uh, but now it's at the lows of the opening. So you see this 15 minute opening candle here, we have the low of 215, and it's just cracking that now. Uh, it dipped a little below, then went back up, uh, and now it's hitting it again, so it really looks like it's uh, continued weakness and will probably fill uh, for the remainder of the trading session, maybe about 50 minutes left. Um, but anyway, so let's just draw in the low of the day because uh, the low trading range of the day, which is now being violated, because uh, that's one significant level to always watch on any stock, uh, is a 15-minute high and 15-minute low, so the high and low of the day. Uh, so we have those two levels that are low, and then, of course, the high. Um, but then one other thing I wanted to show you is Fibonacci. Um, and not so much... Uh, on the daily chart, oh, well, we're on the 15 minute chart anyway. So look at this, Fibonacci retracement from yesterday's close all the way to the high of the day. And look at this, stock traded, traded up to the high, came down right to the 23.6 line and was able to hold 23.6 almost exactly. Okay, went up again, tried to get to those new highs, failed. And where did it drop to? Right on the 38.2 line, 2.32, it hit it, got some support, stayed above the next 15 minute candle, held it, 38.2, held again, held again, and the low of each one of those candles is, it's uncanny, right at the 38.2 level, held it, held it, held it, popped up again to 23.6, couldn't break through 23.6, came right back down, and then finally broke that level. Once if you break that 38.2 level, then there's continued weakness, and where did it drop to? Look at this, right to the 50% retracement line. Then it held that line, held that line, held the 50% line again, tried to get up to 38.2, failed, and it's been holding, 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 and finally cracked. And the next stop on this bus ride is the 61.8 line, which we haven't gotten to yet, 211, 210, but we just cracked that low trading range, 15 minute trading range. So we're at 214, so it's just another three cents, uh, three or four cents until we hit that 61.8 retracement. But usually once once a stock breaks its 50% retracement, uh, you can expect just continued weakness. That's just a big sign of weakness, uh, sliding all the way back and then breaking through 51%. And then usually if you break that, you know, you'll probably more often than not get down to your 61.8 line, which then you can use as another price target. All right, guys, so I really just want to throw that out there to show you the power of these FIB retracements. Um, you know, they just work, and it's just crazy how they just hit right on all those FIB levels. 23.6, 38.2, right here. Then drops to 50%, 50% violated, and now it looks like it's going to drop through the low of the day, uh, which it just cracked, and then on to the 61.8. All right, guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and of course, if you're not already a subscriber, sign up for my uh, swing trading alerts. It's 100 bucks a month, but you get 14 days free. If you don't like the 14 days uh, before your 14th day, just cancel and you don't get charged. All right? And so it gives you a good opportunity to check out all my swing picks. Um, and, of course, please follow me on uh, uh, YouTube, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, and I'm also on Stock Twits, but I can't seem to find an icon to stick in here uh, for Stock Twits. But anyway, all right, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.